Hello friends, my name is Alea of Cozy Crochet Co. where I show you how to crochet the cozy way. And in today's video, is going to be a little bit different. I'm actually going to be um, answering a question from one of my subscribers. Margaret Sharp asks, what is a good 3.5 hook that has an ergonomic handle? And I, I wanted to do a full video on this because I knew I had so many different recommendations um, that I just kind of wanted to put them all in a nice tight little package for anybody who comes across the same question. So I've gathered up some of my favorites to show you today in this video. But before we get started, if you like crochet and yarn content, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also like this video and if you have any other questions or if you want me to review any other topics, put them down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and if you like my content and want to support the channel, buy me a coffee. I've also linked all of these hooks that I could find links for down below, so if you want to purchase them, they're right there for you. So if you don't know what the ergonomic crochet hook is, ergonomic crochet hooks are specifically designed crochet hooks that are intended to be more comfortable and ergonomic for crocheters to use. Reducing the strain and discomfort that may be associated with prolonged crochet sessions. They typically have features such as a larger crochet handle or grip, a curved angle design, and may be made from materials that provide a softer or more cushioned grip. Ergonomic crochet hooks are often recommended for crocheters who experience hand or wrist pain, arthritis, or other physical conditions that may affect their ability to crochet comfortably and for a long period of time. They come in various materials, including plastic, metal, wood, and can be found in different sizes and styles to accommodate different crochet techniques and yarn types. Using an ergonomic crochet hook can help crocheters maintain a more relaxed grip, a reduced hand fatigue, and crochet with greater comfort and enjoyment. So with that being said, if you are hunting for your next ergonomic crochet hook, I'm going to show you the ones that you might want to look at. So the first one that I recommend is going to be the Boy Ergonomic Crochet Hooks. Now these come in a pack of various ranges, but this one does include the 3 millimeter crochet hook. So Margaret, you might want to try this out. You can find them at Walmart and on Amazon, and I'm not going to lie, it's very much beginner friendly. Now, when I was crocheting with these hooks, I definitely liked the size of them and how flat they are at the top. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So I just have some DK cotton yarn, and I was just doing up a little swatch with this hook. And this is what the hook looks like. I really like how the handle is long and you have a flattened grip on both the, for the thumb and your finger in the back. I have a knife hold, so I like it because it fits um, my needs for a knife hold. But I think if people were to use <laughs> a pencil hold as well, I think you would also meet those requirements as well when it comes to hook shape. So yeah, I also like the comfort grip. It doesn't slip, and I've actually had these for a very long time, for about three years now, and they've always held up very nicely. I like the handle on it as well. And when it comes to crocheting, the tip of the hook is not as rounded, so you don't have to worry about your yarn splitting or anything. And it works through very nicely for a smaller hook. It gets some uh, getting used to using these smaller hooks, but you know. I still enjoy it. So the next hook that I'm going to be talking about is the Clover or More hook. I also have this one in a 3.5 and you can get this by itself or in a pack. I got mine by itself because honestly, I don't use <laughs> the smaller sizes, but I specifically needed this hook because I was making like 
these cute little lanyards and I needed like a smaller hook and this one worked absolutely perfect for that. When it came to nylon or cotton, it just glided so smoothly over the hook. And I like it because the Clover More hooks has like this finish on the actual hook that makes crocheting like so easy in a dream and really quick and easy. I like how it fits in my hand. I like the thumb rest and let's see it in action. I really like this one because the texture on the hook makes gripping the yarn just that much better. Because with the boy hook, it, it just was too slippery. And so sometimes you would see me misfire in a lot of my stitches. I'm just doing some double crochet. And I like that the tip of the hook is not too pointed, but it's pointed enough to where getting through stitches is so easy. But yeah, the coating gives that added friction. So then crocheting is not so slippery. And as you can see where my thumb rest, it's just perfect, right? And if you had like um, a pin hold, I think it would be very comfortable as well. And the hook is actually a really nice size too. Like I really don't want to stop crocheting. It's just very comfortable when you're making like smaller crochet stitches and you're doing it for a repeated time. I've made so many um, lanyards using like sock yarn with this hook. It's legitimately one of my favorites. <laughs> These are a couple of lanyards that I put together as like gifts for people. But yeah, I I love this hook for that. And the only reason why I was able to make this many <laughs> is because I had this hook in particular. So the next crochet hook that I have to show you is going to be the Tulip Eatable hooks. Now, I like these hooks a lot. Like, they're my favorite. Mm -hmm. I don't let nobody use my uh, Tulip hooks at all. Like, and they don't ever leave this room. <laughs> I don't take them on trips. I make sure they stay here because not only are they just golden and I absolutely love them, um, they're kind of expensive, um, for what they are, but that is okay. I will buy it over and over and over again. I prefer not to, but they're really good hooks. Um, I personally don't have a 3.5 millimeter hook just because I have my Clover and I have my Boy, so I, I switch between those. But Tulip does come, does have hooks that go lower past what, this is a four millimeter hook. So I will link that down below in the description section for you if you're interested in it. Um, let's go ahead and see how this one works. All right, so for this one, the stitches may look a little bit wonky because I have a four millimeter crochet hook. But one of the main reasons why I like this hook is because, the, first of all, the plastic and the grip on here is just absolutely so comfortable. It doesn't have a lot of give, so you're not constantly squishing it with your hand, um, but it has enough to where it's comfortable. Now, I have a knife hold, so my thun, thumb hits right in this section right here perfectly. I don't ever see my thumb going over this bump at all, and it just... It keeps my hand exactly in the it keeps my hand in exactly the position that it needs to be so that it's not causing any more hand fatigue or um injury. So this is how I hold my hook and let's do some stitches. Now the tulip hook, if you can see, definitely has a more pointed, has a more pointed tip than both the clover and the boy, but it's still a um it's still a tapered hook and the reason why I like that is because I can get into these stitches and not misfire at all. Um, it has a nice deep throat so you do not have to worry about your stitches slipping off of the hook while you're working them and it also just like the Clover Amore it also has like this finish on the hook but it's not as severe as um 
the clover more where the clover more you literally can see it the tulip ones i don't know how to explain it but the coating is a li little bit more subtle but as you crochet you can definitely um feel that texture which is nice for gripping yarns like cotton and mohair and um cashmere because it gives you a little bit more control in manipulating your yarn <laughs> All right, so the next hook in the lineup is going to be the Prim, or I've heard it called um, Prime crochet hooks. Now, these are a um, resin crochet hooks that have a lot of texture on the hook, but has a absolutely gorgeous design on the handle and does feature that grippiness that you see with the other hooks that I've showed you. Um, I personally like these and they are readily available almost anywhere. Um, I like that the actual length of the hook like this neck part is a lot longer than most hooks that you will find. So if you're somebody who does a lot of like um, extra motion and likes the length like I do, then these hooks definitely are for you. Um, I also don't have these in a 3.5 millimeter hook, but you can get them if you buy them in a set. So let's see how this one works. So the prim hooks are definitely a true inline crochet hook. As you can see with the pointed hook head and you have a nice deep throat to manipulate your yarn in through your stitches with a nice long neck, it definitely aids you when it comes to your crochet and it's really nice. I will say with the added texture on the hook, yarn like Red Heart or some cotton yarn can be a little bit difficult. I'm kind of having a lot of resistance when it comes to um, this cotton yarn and using this hook. So I will say that is one drawback, but it's also like made out of resin. So you just have to pair the right yarn for the correct tools. But I use this hook on a lot of things like wool, mohair. I've used it on alpaca and a different types of acrylic yarn that are more silky and smooth. And it's worked with no problem. So the next hooks are going to be some well-known ergonomic hooks. Um, these are the Furls Streamline and Odyssey hooks. Now, for the Streamline hooks, unfortunately, they do not come any lower than a 4 millimeter crochet hook. However, the Odyssey line definitely has it, and they actually have as small as 2.25 millimeters. So if you can get your hands on them once they become back in stock, they are definitely a great option. As long as I've been using them, I have never noticed any hand fatigue. So that's going to be it for my ergonomic hook recommendations. I want to know down in the comments which one would you recommend. But with that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you have a wonderful day. And as always, create something gorgeous. Bye, guys.